to my channel, so today we are going to be doing a haul, more specifically Superdrug Tesco The Works. Um, when I say The Works, I'm literally meaning the shop The Works for anyone who hasn't heard of The Works store, which is most likely people who live outside of the UK, because I don't know whether there are The Works in the US or Australia or France or whatever. But yeah, I made an online order with Superdrug, it was my first online order. I made it on the Friday of the Easter bank holiday and it arrived on the Tuesdays. Actually no, it didn't arrive on the Tuesday, it arrived on the Wednesday, which saying it was bank holiday, that's super good. And plus we went into the works on the Saturday. Well, we were actually going to this kind of like wildlife, like little wildlife park and you had to go through a the works to get there. I didn't buy it on the way there. It was bought on the way back and it was bought for me by my mum because she'd bought my sister some bubbles and, and also a hula hoop so she was like, you can have a look. And so I bought two, but only because they were on the sale and so they were a pound each. She spent more on my sister anyway. And then today I went to Tesco because there were some things I forgot to buy that were on their shopping list. So I had to buy them and I had to take my sister out with me because I was looking after her whilst they do her room. And I bought a few things for myself. Two of them will be gone, will probably be gone by tomorrow night. But. I'll try and control myself and make them last till Tuesday. <laughs> yeah. So basically, you might notice I've got the box there because I've just compiled them all into the box which my super drug order came in. And so, let's just go through them. Well, I bought a bag of Skittles Chewies. I have already opened them. I've had... I've had a few. Even though... I could also say I've had like a fifth of the packet. Yeah. Saying I'm trying to be healthy and I'm trying to get my weight down a little bit because I'm currently at my heaviest I've ever been. Uh, yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. Sticking with that theme, we're actually going to go further back in that box to the triple pack of Jaffa Cakes. So 30 Jaffa Cakes and um, let's just say I've already eaten um, one of the packs. So yeah. Because I always tell myself like I'll eat those sweets and I'll get back on it. But and usually, and usually I'm quite good and I wait till I go to my nan's because that's when I get the sweets but see so yeah, I obviously decided I don't want to so yeah and it doesn't help that the Skittles Trueys were 24B cheaper than they usually are plus the Jaffa Cakes, there were 125 for the three packs, so they were on a bargain. And also it didn't help that my parents, they had Jaffa Cakes, they had the triple pack. But only because my mum needed to, I think it was my sister needed to go to the toilet, or my mum needed to go to the toilet. And the closest toilet was Tesco. and. You kind of, when you're going to use a toilet in a shop, you always feel obligated for, to buy something from a shop. Like, is it a rule to buy something from a shop if you're going to use the toilet? Or, or, do you, or is it just a norm that is British do as, like, common courtesy? Yeah. Moving along, I'll get on to the work stuff. Like, the work stuff and that because you're probably waiting for the super drug so keep you watching and also if you've gotten this far don't forget to hit that 
like button and hit that subscribe if you haven't already and join this channel this like little family <clears throat> and add me on instagram snapchat twitter whatever you have or whatever you want to follow me on i've been a little bit active on instagram like i went through a phase of like where i posted quite a few but then i didn't so yeah i just didn't first book i got was a twist of the knife okay now when i decided i was going to get this book like there was a few copies and like the top like one of the top outer edges or was it or possibly one of the pages had like shown where it's been like used and i didn't want that so i tried to get one so i got one that looked brand new obviously don't know whether you can tell but it was a pound and this is like more of a crime one and like a former FBI agent, that sort of thing. And yeah, so that's the first book. Actually, turns out I've not finished with the Tesco. So let's quickly go back. I bought some Dove Invisible Care Roll On deodorant. It says new on it as well, so. And a quarter of it is moisturising cream and it has a floral touch. 0% alcohol, this apparently lasts 48 hours, but to be honest, I wouldn't trust it to last 48 hours. I'd probably trust it to last 24 most. Antiperspirant and anti-transpirant. So, it doesn't trans... Transpire? Where does transparent come from? I can't remember. And this is why. I think it relates really to geography and evaporation or something. Please correct me in the comments. Please do. Educate me. Like, antiperspirant. Oh. Why is it that I'm not suddenly not knowing the meanings of things? Just educate me please. Then they also that first book was by Becky Masterman if anyone wants to know. But then again I think if you searched a twist of the knife you'd find it anyway. Okay now the second book is by Stephen Donaldson. I have to try I had to wear that because the one pound mark sticker is covering it plus the any three for five pounds was as well and it's called seventh decimate okay now this one does have like a little bit of wear on like the bottom but i don't think i could find another one but that could have also just been me or at least some of it might have been and it's like a fantasy book it's the first book of a series so I'm glad I got the first book of the series because it's a pain starting a series on the third book. Like, you wouldn't start Harry Potter with the Goblet of Fire because you wouldn't know the backstory or anything and it just wouldn't make sense, would it? And yeah, it's like a fantasy book. Like I said, it said it's by Stephen Donaldson, so if you want to check it out. Please do. Why do they have to make noise whilst I'm filming? Common courtesy, but then again they probably don't know. Is she coming up the stairs or something? Yeah, she's on the stairs. Okay now, obviously I said I got this on the Friday of the Easter Bank holiday. It just so happens that Superdrug had a 20% off that weekend. So I took advantage of that offer. Can 
actually get off the steps. Plus, if for a beauty card member, you get free standard delivery after you, if you spend ten pounds. My total to start with was like nine pounds or something, and basically. It meant I would have had to pay £3 for delivery, which it would have taken a total to like £11.50. But if you think about it, it makes more sense to buy something that's a pound and take that total up. I ended up getting something that was £2.49, but even when I bought it, it still meant that my total was only like a pound higher because of like the 20% off or something. It's crazy. Like I don't even like I just don't even know how it ended up being that like but it did. But there was also the offer of ten pound if you spend ten pounds on Revolution you get the free glow get the palette. I made sure I spent the £10 on that. Or at least, I think he meant like £10 before. Mm. Tax, like before the time set. So it's the Glow Guest palette, or at least it has Pro HD on the front. It's known as the Amplify palette, but it's like, but on the back it says Amplify palette glow getter eight highlighters and yeah there's like the rose gold and a light print i'm just gonna name the shades rose gold kiss champagne kiss dream kiss which is like all these like different colors there's glow kiss that looks more like just like your regular silver but it looks slightly different then there's the golden kiss, this kind of, this peach, peach gold kiss, there's like, again, a few prismatic kiss and mint kiss, that's like a lavender colour, and that's like the mint, but I've used it, I haven't used it, I didn't use it today, but I really enjoy it and I think it's really pretty. I haven't experimented with more colourful colours or I haven't even experimented with the rose gold. Like I've swatched everything but I've not experimented and so I will do a review on that if you want me to. I should know I'll start with this. Plus I really needed a new concealer and that was the original reason why I went on the website like whip and so I bought the revolution conceal and define concealer and I got it in the shade 0.1 and I will do a review on this as I go on but obviously it's very pretty packaging everyone raves about it so I needed to try it and at four pounds you can't really go wrong and I have used it a few times and it is the correct shade for me. Plus the pixelator and a touch of the touch up of the lipstick and I'm back. <clears throat> Can't even remember what the last thing I was talking about was. It was probably the concealer. But yeah, there'll be a review on the highlighter palette and the concealer. Like a more in depth review. Because I've kind of briefly mentioned them but you need a more in-depth review, like whether it blinding with one swipe or all of that. But then I wanted to pick up some eyelashes because last time I bought eyelashes was for my prom and my prom was 29th of June last year and yes I did remember the date. And now thinking about it, I remember because my friend was attending a wedding the day after. Don't know why I remember that, but I did. And I don't even know why I remembered that that was a wedding because that's completely unrelated to why I'd remember the date. 
my mind's weird in case you didn't know basically after i wore those lashes i intended to wear them like two three more times that sort of thing then when i went to wear them again i couldn't find one of my lashes and <clears throat> it kind of made me sad and on the Superdrug website, they obviously have the lashes for a pound, but in store they don't have them, which kind of sucks. And so I picked up some lashes. The first ones I got was Natural Dure 1 Fashion Lash, like the Fashion Lash Lashes, and they just look like that. Plain simple, that sort of thing. And those are the sort of lashes I'm used to because I used to have to wear false eyelashes a lot. like at least once a month then there'd be some months where I'd have to wear false lashes like five six times and I'm not even kidding either like I know that my old dance school they currently got comms at the moment and there is and I'd be doing a solo plus troop dances and sometimes troop and Quite often true dances aren't just on one day they're on like two days sometimes they're spread out like there might be one or two one day the next day then one or two or three the next day and then like the following saturday there'd be like the final section and it might be like the main group but i'd have to wear for eyelashes, false eyelashes a lot especially since there'd be like kind of like a rising stars which is the name of the show but there'd be a rising stars each month to build our confidence on stage and so I came quite skilled at applying false eyelashes and obviously whenever you do a makeup look false eyelashes just make it like if you look at pictures on Instagram tutorials on YouTube you see all of these like amazing looks and they always finish it off with lashes so now I can continue that and then I also got natural 2A4 which look like this they're like they've got lashes that across it but I don't know if you can tell you can tell sort of that and again you see people wearing this sort of lashes also I'd like to point out with that one it's obviously not straight on that's because I just kind of wanted to put it on top of my eye I didn't glue it on or anything because I haven't even cut them yet I just wanted to see what it might look like when I've got the lashes on and yeah and I'll see at a pound that each they're a bargain and if they definitely do work I, when I make another super drug order, I'll be ordering pairs of these. But I will definitely make sure I get my use out of them. Or as I'm pretty sure everyone does. Because when I was dancing, I used to be able to go. Like, I used to make one pair of lashes last me like 10 times. Like, I can make a pair of lashes probably last me a year with, and that's wearing them, like, okay, so a minimum of 12, just to make it even, let's say I'd have to wear it 24 times, possibly 30, like, 30 times a year, I can make them last. And... Yeah, I'd probably say about 24 times. I can literally make lashes last me. I should probably have changed them beforehand, but I can still make them stick. I can still make them look okay. Perfect. And I wasn't the best at makeup at all. Like, oh my god, the way I did my makeup back then. So different to how I do my makeup now. I literally look like a clown. And I'm not kidding. And if you want me to kind of recreate my dancing makeup, let me know in the comment section down below because I will happily do that. 
and if anyone who I dance with is watching this and you definitely want to see me do this or you maybe want to kind of make sure I'm up to date what, with what the dancing makeup looks like now send me a DM on Instagram or even just comment down below like if you definitely want me to do this video not this video but that video yeah so obviously two pairs of false eyelashes two pounds whereas like a pair of the super drugs next sort of higher up brand they're like 319 419 a pair I think when they're on offer they're 319 but they're usually 419 but even just obviously I know people spend like 25 pounds for a pair of lashes which is creepy but literally if a pair of one pound lashes work surely it's a lot better than a 25 pound pair and also like even just spending four pounds like for people who are on a budget like for me 20 pounds pocket money a month okay yeah i do last month i did manage to save myself 27 pounds in total and when it came to me making my super drug order i had just over, like 19 pounds 50 in my bank so yeah To comprehend it's like people spend so much on lashes so if you can find a majorly reduced alternative then why not why not then I bought the revolution banana light baking powder I don't like obviously like major influencers you see when they bake they have it kind of like sort of in a block like underneath right and that sort I don't do it like that I kind of do it more as like a dust not like a dusting but I use it all over my face but I use it quite light and my makeup looks stunning and so but then again as Nikki tutorial says there aren't any rules in makeup so you can do it whatever the hell, whatever way you want. But I just know that I'd still end up applying the rest of my face anyway. So instead of just doing like a massive block here, why not do it all? And my makeup still looks alright doing it that way. And yeah. Because if you go onto my Instagram and you look at, like, it's that one of my most recent ones like it's a pictorial it was my first pictorial like if you look at the first image and you see how it looks that is actually using the products like the highlight the concealer and powder like i haven't used the lashes at all and my next product i haven't used at all well, I say I haven't used, but I have, but I haven't. But yeah, I got, and I needed some more like baking powder because I first bought the MUA pressed baking powder or whatever the hell it was called, and it broke so much. Well, actually, no, it was, actually, no, it did break, but It was always a lot easier to use it in a powder form and so obviously again major influencers they have like the Laura Mercier or the Coty Earthburn and again people are on a budget so if that banana powder works for me obviously I've got more of it you wouldn't tell it by like my face but I have got more of like a yellowy undertone into my skin and so obviously that works well for me and it's a light like it's banana light so it's like fair skin tone and it doesn't like it's yellow but not too yellow 
that makes sense. It's not like a banana yellow. But yeah. Obviously if you, you're you even paler than me, you'd go for like the translucent one. But the translucent one was out of stock so I kind of took a chance on the banana light and it's paid off. So I'm happy about that and again I will give a in-depth review on that powder. Then the last but not least, I bought the Revolution Iconic Pro Lipstick in Game of Mystery. Okay now their website is very misleading. And I'm not kidding. Like when you click on the different names, like the colour next to it, not misleading. But the image misleading. And I guess I should have expected it. And actually I kind of did expect it. But on the website it comes off as like a red. Definitely not a red. Obviously, yeah. Pretty packaging. It's a nude. It's like a pinky, peachy nude. It's a nice colour. Just when I was originally trying it, it didn't go with the look I was going for. But I do like it and I have got another lipstick like this but it's like a matte packaging and it's, I can't remember which lipstick it is but it's in the shade Chauffeur, Chauffeur and that's more, it's kind of more of a nude like a brownie nude but no I don't know how to describe it and I don't even know where it is either and it's not a brownie nude but it's like like this is like a pinky nude whereas the other one's kind of still got that hint, hint it's a hint of mauve colour and that's just kind of goes a little bit more with looks than this one would but still really pretty and again I will review it. Also like going back to the pizza covers obviously I was saying how I kind of want to lose weight the takeout wasn't my decision for tea we weren't supposed to be having it for tea we were supposed to be having shepherd's pie but apparently it was too late to cook it so surely the better decision would have been look in the freezer have we got chicken dippers oh yes have we got chips oh yes i have chicken dippers and chips but they'd have been a lot healthier than pizza but no we had takeout like they say they're gonna get back on to like they do cook slimming world meals and they say they're going to get back onto Slimming World, but to be honest, I don't see that at the moment. Like, I was hoping that my Jaffa Cakes and my Skittles Chewies would be enough junk food in my life. Like, okay, yes, I'm glad that I only ate half the pizza, whereas usually I'd eat five slices. My sister had pretty much a slice apart from like for half of the slice the topping came off that was because that slice was cut in half for her but I'm sorry I'm glad I only was able to eat half but that was also because I ate sweets like an hour beforehand which obviously isn't good but I bet my sweets are a lot healthier than the pizza I just wasn't going to be that widow who got up just to get a freaking paper towel to dab up the grease. Mm. Yeah. Obviously I'd do that when it came to when I have my own house and I order take out and that sort of thing. I'd do it then. But for now, no. I'm not going to be that widow. I did do it once when I was at my nan's. But that's because I could do it in the kitchen and I wasn't going to get questioned for it. Yeah. But 
Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want more haul type videos, let me know in the comment section. Like this video if it somehow this video somehow made you happy or just you really liked the stuff that was in this haul. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because I would love to see you here. We are currently on 175 subscribers, or at least we were the last time I checked, which was yesterday. And it will be yesterday for you guys watching it as well. Yeah, this video is not going up in an hour and ten. Not with editing and everything. You might see it at half seven, eight o'clock. It's probably going to be more like eight o'clock. Actually, no. It's probably going to be more like nine o'clock and yes it will go up today and that's all because of the time it takes to explore but anyway i will see you guys in my next video